The spread of COVID-19 in New Hampshire is slowing down, but people are still at risk of getting infected. Joining us live now to discuss testing and protection is our state epidemiologist, Dr. Benjamin Chan. Good afternoon, doctor. We've heard a lot about the importance of testing for COVID-19. What is the current recommendation for who should be tested uh, right now? Yeah, and good afternoon. So, so we recommend that anybody with symptoms, even mild symptoms of COVID-19 should be uh, tested so that we can identify infection early and try and limit the spread from person to person. So remember that the symptoms of COVID-19 are pretty varied. Uh, 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 COVID-19 can present with fever, but it can also present with more mild respiratory symptoms like cough, runny nose, sore throat. Some people early on in their illness um, may experience body aches or, or more extreme fatigue. Some people have reported changes in taste and smell. Anybody with these symptoms, we're recommending get tested, even if they wouldn't normally seek medical care for more mild symptoms. Now, it's important that to remember that up until now, we've relied largely on sort of the social distancing and community mitigation measures to try and um, control and slow the spread of COVID-19. But as we start to reopen different areas of society, as we relax some of the social distancing um, built into our society, testing will become increasingly important so that we can identify infection early and try and limit spread person to person. So there are different types of testing out there now. For someone who has symptoms of COVID-19, what type of test should they get and how do they go about getting that? Yeah, so right, there are two general different types of tests out there. If someone is having symptoms, the, the test that the person should receive uh, is a nose or throat swab. That uh, Those tests um, detect the virus directly. Uh, they detect active infection. That is infection that can be spread person to person uh, so that we can get them um, under isolation and do our public health investigations. This is different from some of the antibody-based tests that people may be hearing about out there. Um, antibody-based tests detect a person's response to past infection, and it can take reliably up to a couple of weeks before someone's body develops these antibodies after infection. So that is not the right test if someone is having symptoms. They should be seeking, uh, ideally, the nose swabs. Um, we encourage people to reach out primarily to their healthcare providers um, to see what testing options are available within their healthcare system and healthcare community. If someone doesn't have a healthcare provider um, or if uh, they're having difficulty accessing testing, they can go online to our website, nh.gov slash COVID-19, and there are various testing options available for people that may have difficulty accessing testing. So you've been saying uh, for a while now that testing is important to control the spread. How else can we prevent the virus uh, from spreading, especially now as more places reopen? Yeah, so remember, testing is only one tool, and we don't have a vaccine yet. It would be great if we did, but that's likely months away. We don't have medications to prevent infection, and so we still have to rely on our social distancing um, to help slow the spread of this. So people are still encouraged to stay at home as much as possible and only go out for the essentials. When people are out in public, they should still be uh, maintaining at least six feet of distance between other people and wearing cloth face coverings. This is especially important for the more vulnerable individuals in our communities, people that are 60 years of age and older, people with multiple chronic medical conditions like lung disease and heart disease, especially should be staying home as, uh, as much as possible to protect themselves. And we need to be trying to protect those individuals as well. So if people have family or friends in nursing homes and long-term care facilities, uh, they should not be visiting, visiting them at this point in the, uh, in the pandemic. All right, doctor, thank you for your work on behalf of New Hampshire as always. And we'll see you back here live again at 530 tonight.